four words every person who comes on your farm needs to know. Smile, you're on camera. Hey, we are here with Jason Jackson, and the number one video on this YouTube channel is the one Jason does. Now, I take it personally because he outdoes all of the videos I do. So, anyway, <laughs> but honestly, it just shows what is a really important and hot topic to uh, many of you growers. So, that was so popular, and we did that probably a year and a half ago, I think it was. I don't know. But anyway, there's a lot of changes that have come, so kind of keep us up with some some newer things and maybe some things we can take advantage of now too that could even help us better all right certainly i mean technology is constantly changing and, and trying to stay ahead of the curve is, is important but i hear all these people talking about different aspects and different ideas of how they can set up a camera system on their farm mm -hmm. and you know of course there, there's a lot of technology out there and I've, I've got an assortment of things here we can talk about that, that is new stuff. And, you know, I, I, I think that one of, the, one of the most important ones is what we call IP cameras. Okay. Uh, that, that seems to be one of the most common ones. There, there's Ring and Arlo sure. and, and a few other um, off brands that are, have these IP cameras that you, you hook up and, and they send some video uh, that's activated right. and, and they have their limitations. They, they have some things that are, that are positive and some things that, that are negatives. But you know, our camera systems on the farm, there are certain things that we want them to be able to do. And you know, when you're out on your farm trying to monitor what's going on, I, I think it's important that we're able to, to go back and replay some of it. Now this particular camera, it, it connects to your Wi-Fi remotely. All you gotta do is have a place to plug it into power. Okay. You plug this into the power, hook it up to your Wi-Fi, and, and you can monitor it. Uh, you can monitor it through a cloud-based system or through a DVR. And it's the same way that, that the Arlo and the Ring works, but they, they take it to another level. They have audio that they can record. They can also, you can speak back through it right, and tell right. somebody something. Yep. For the most part out here on the farm, I, that's not what I need. Right. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't really need that. They're, they're great for homeowners and homeowner usage uh, for monitoring uh, one access point. Out here on the farm, I feel like we need multiple places to be monitored. Uh, oftentimes we, we might have you know, six, eight, ten different spots that we need monitoring, yeah. like at it, feed bin pads. Where we're sitting right here is, is, a, is a prime location of something that needs to be monitored. It's a good idea to know when feed trucks come and when yeah. they left and how much time they spent there and which bin they put the feed in when that truck was yeah. there. I think that's something that has, has paid off for me. And, and, you know, the ability to do that is important. So if you set one of those cameras at, at each location, that's a good thing. Now, I've got some others that you can, that you can look at as well. Now, this particular style, this is not one that, that connects to the internet. This one is a wired system. It receives its power and, and sends the video back through a wire back to a DVR. Okay. Now, your DVR might be linked up to your internet, or it right. might not be, but it right. records continuously. And that's something, if you don't have internet at all, you might consider one of these systems where it's just wired in and you run your wire. You can run your wire, you know, a thousand feet even. Sure. Um, and make it work where you can still record it and go back and look at it. If it's not linked up to some type of Wi-Fi or internet based DVR, you're gonna have a hard time being able to monitor it remotely like on your right. phone. Right. And that's what a lot of people want. Now, and how do you do that? So, so I would imagine that's what a lot of people want to do. They want to be able to go, uh, man, I can look at my phone and see what is actually happening right there. I mean, you, you've got absolutely. your controllers or computer. Yeah. You can look at your phone and see what, what your fans are doing right now. Yeah, nice I, I can pull it up. Who is walking on your property. That's right. It, it, it's nice to know what time they get here, what time they left, who it was, and, and what they did while they were there. Um, I'm not using it as a, as a security device to deter thieves. I'm using it as a monitoring device to know who yeah. is accessing my farm. And the only way you could do that, to get that kind of monitoring on your phone, is to have 
wireless, the IP, the cloud-based, yeah. Yes, you've got to have some method. Well, I hear people talking about, well, we don't have Wi-Fi on my farm. Well, there's a couple of solutions out there that are relatively new things that, that people can do, and, and I've got some of those. This is what I believe is the easiest solution. Yeah. This little box looks kind of like a small cell phone, yeah. but this is just simply a Wi-Fi hotspot from AT&T. Yeah. Now, there are there's several other, nearly every internet provider has them, sure. and for 20 bucks a month, I add this to my phone line. You just take a SIM card, put it in there, you can buy these from your AT&T store or just buy them online. You can go to eBay and find these, these Wi-Fi hotspots. Right. And they take a SIM card. You get the SIM card uh, turned on with data and bam, you've got Wi-Fi at your farm yeah. for 20 bucks a month. It's crazy. So that's, that's, a, that's a pretty easy way to add Wi-Fi. For, so for when these people are talking about, oh, well, we can't have those cameras, we can't monitor it because we don't have Wi-Fi, why not get it? And that opens up even other things. I get people say, I can't talk, get my phone call. You did your safety video on catch night. And, yes, you know, absolutely. You can't get somebody, but you got, if you don't, can't get your phone, Wi-Fi now, you can. You can have Wi-Fi calling. Yeah. You know, you, you, you can turn this on to where you've got Wi-Fi inside your barns and you, you might have an extender that extends it out to where, where you've got a signal everywhere. You may not necessarily have a cell phone signal inside, but you may have a Wi-Fi signal and you're using Wi-Fi calling yeah. that goes to wherever this has. So it, it's, a, it's a good way to link up, whether it be cameras or whether it be your cell phone. Now, I, I think this a, it's a very good method for people to connect to the internet fairly inexpensively. Yeah. Rather than paying a, a monthly monitoring fee for, for a camera service, you, you can you, you can pay a monthly fee for your Wi-Fi and connect your computers in your houses. Right. You can so, you can do a lot more than just your camera system right. for basically the same amount of money. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I'm a firm believer that these hotspots are, are, as long as you can get a cell signal outside somewhere, you can put one of these inside a, a waterproof component box outside the building i've got one right over there that's got a got a router inside it on the outside of the building yeah and they'll, they'll be safe and i think that's a that's a very good way to go about it um we there are other options as far as uh camera systems out there that a lot of people are, are toying with right. now right um, a lot of people are using game cameras right now some of them are using simple game cameras that that you know you can you can go purchase these game cameras that, that are they are just a very simple they just take pictures they got an SD card in them and you go back and look at them and they may take short video clips and but you you, you can't access them very easily without taking that camera um, open taking the card out of it and taking it back to a computer or something to, to look at well they've got these new cameras out that will actually use a cell based and you have to have a subscription to them but they'll send alerts to your phone. Right. Now, if, if you've only got one or two spots that you want to put a camera at, that might be a good solution, and you don't have to have Wi-Fi. Sure. Uh, you do have to have a cell signal. You don't have to have much of one, but you have to have a cell signal. And, and these, these particular game cameras, they're, you know, they're not cheap. They're, they're, they're kind of expensive, actually, right. but they do a pretty good job of, of co connecting with motion and they, they'll take good night pictures and, and they, they have some pros and cons. Just like all these systems have things that are good and bad drawbacks that, that, that might be something that doesn't work well on your farm or it might be something that fits in with what you're doing just perfect. Right. So these are some, some new options out. Like I said, the Wi-Fi hotspots, well they've been out for a while but they've gotten way cheaper and they've gotten yeah. way more effective. And the, the cell-based cameras, well that's pretty new and that's some pretty, cool technology and and then the IP cameras well that's 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 pretty pretty hot right now um, I still think that the ability to record 24/7 yeah. on all of your cameras is very and important and go back absolutely earlier in the day and say I saw that but not just have a one time shot but I can actually I had it recorded yeah that, and that's going to take the DVR time. pretty much isn't it yes i i think that's important now there are there are some cloud based uh, accounts and, and plans that you can get where you can record it and keep it for a long period right. of time, but they start getting expensive. Yeah, uh, if you just purchase a, a, a DVR system that that has you know enough cameras for you, then you can record all you want to, and it's a one-time fee, really. Yeah. 
Just run you know, up front costs and now you just roll. Yeah, and, and sometimes you can you can find those very inexpensively. You don't have to spend, you know, a, a huge amount of money on your system. So I, I, I like that style best, sure. but like I said, it may not fit in everybody's system. Yeah. So like I said, the game camera might be the way to go. You might just get one of these IP cameras that, that just sends it uh, back to, and you just look at whatever's live in real time. Yeah. Um, it depends on what your goals are with your monitoring system, and I think that's important. Yeah. Well, I appreciate that. I think that's a big help. Um, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of junk going on these days, and so uh, I think it was interesting that you said, you know, this is not necessarily a deterrent to keep from stealing, because people, if they're determined, they're gonna come and steal. But what's gonna be good is now I've got a picture of you. And it's also good to know who's been messing with your controller in your control room. Well, I didn't yeah. do that. Well, I, I got pictures of where you punched in. So, I don't know. Just some good things to think about. Um, if, you know, I always give you my email and my phone number, but if you ever need to reach out to Jason, who is a much more of an authority on this stuff than I am, I just play a chicken grower on camera. That's all I do. I don't actually grow chicken. I did used to help years ago. But anyway. Um, but you can actually reach Jason, and it's Jason at SouthlandOrganics.com. If you got any questions about this, and he's got some pricing on the, some things, maybe he can shoot you some. And probably in this description below, we'll put some things in here that can kind of help you, maybe guide you towards some things, uh, where to look for on eBay, what kind of DVRs and things like that. But anyway, if there's anything else we can do to help you, be sure to give me a shout, Alan at SouthlandOrganics.com. Or call me at 1-800-608-3755. Smile, you're on camera.